Hi there, Janet Fritz here for Galaxy Girl Creations. Welcome to this month's Off the Board with Pineapple Papers. And Pineapple Papers is run by Crystal Barrett. And you can go over to her channel and see what she's doing. And she'll have a whole list of ladies that are uh, participating this month. I will um, try and link their channels down below as well. And so this month I was inspired by that color palette that you just saw pop up on the screen. And... Um, it was something I had pinned, and it was a color palette uh, for a company just showing, um, I think it was fall colors, although there was like a pink and a blue in there. Um, but what I was inspired by was the color swatch itself. Not the colors, but the way that the colors were spread across on the paper. And so I took that concept and ran with it and decided to use some Dilutions paint to make my own um, color swatch background. And I wanted to use the lime green. Um, I'm not really sure what the name of the color is for Dilutions, but it's that kind of limey green color, or, or grass green maybe. Um, actually, I think it's lighter than their grass green. And then the blue. And then I had to do a little bit of mixing to get the right color for the third color, which is kind of a beet color, beet red. And so I mixed a little bit of pink, a little bit of purple, and a little bit of red to get that color. Actually, I take that back. I used red, blue, and pink to get that color. And um, I'm gonna swipe that across the screen here in just a moment. And when I show you the picture, you'll see why I wanted those colors. It's my grandson, and he's got a bib on that's blue and green, and he actually has beets all over his face. And um, I wanted to document that because uh, not just the fact that he's got beets all over his face, but <clears throat> the fact that he just loves food. Um, and he loves just about everything. He, I think the only things that we've found that he really does not like is plain avocado and uh, steamed cauliflower. He'll eat cauliflower if it is um, roasted and he'll eat avocado in stuff like guacamole, but he doesn't like it plain. And so um, he's currently 10 and a half, uh, actually almost 11 months old, but th this kid, he just loves to eat and pretty much anything we give him, he really likes. He's not really big into um, purees anymore. He'll eat them out of a pouch, but spoon-fed, he's not crazy about them. He wants to eat what the big people are eating. And so uh, that's what he does. He loves ribs. He loves tri-tip and um, pretty much all the vegetables. He loves uh, asparagus tips. His mom makes them with some balsamic and some other seasoning, and he just he loves them. He gobbles them up. So I have a lot of pictures of him eating because it's really cute. He's super delicate with his little pincher fingers, and um, he doesn't like you to put it in his mouth for him. He wants to take it from your hand or from the tray and do it himself. But um, anyway, so that's what I'm documenting, and I really like how those color swatches came out. I did glue them down. This is, I'm sorry, I did not glue them down. I did tape the paper down. You saw that. And the reason I did that is because it's just plain white cardstock. It's not super thick. And um, <clears throat> the paint that I used, I put it on pretty thick, especially that beginning, right at the beginning when I um, dabbed it down and then spread it across. the That first point where the foam touched the paper is super thick. And I let it dry overnight, and I really like the way it came out. I'm using some papers from Chamel's Head in the Clouds and uh, her new field trip collection. And I really love the the background paper there that I used to border the edge. It's the perfect color for those beets. And then I chose this other piece from the journaling pad that has the circular element with all of those blues, greens, and purples. And I just, I love... I love how it turned out and I love how it complements um, the photo and how the two collections work really well together. And that piece that says Yep on it, I believe that's from Box of Crayons. Um, if you watch any of my videos that I use her products, you know I mix and match them and they all work really, really great together. Um, 
<clears throat> the piece that says Wonder, I believe, is from one of her earlier collections, although I cannot remember which one. So anyway, I'm pretty much mixing and matching all of her collections to do this layout. That little border strip has plates and teacups on it, which is perfect for a food-related photo. And then I'm going to cut this yes, yep, yeah, uh-huh um, card apart. I'm not, I'm, I think I end up, yeah, I, I think I'm going to span the photo at this point, but I don't end up using it in that, that particular way. I end up using that bottom piece of it up in the upper left hand corner and, um, you'll see how that comes together, but it took me a while to kind of figure out what I was going to do. I also trimmed down the blue border on it, uh, just because it had quite a large border around it and I didn't want it to take up quite so much space. <clears throat> now, um, this off the board YouTube hop is basically, you are looking at your Pinterest board and being inspired by something on your board and then creating a scrapbook page out of it. And you might be inspired by a sketch, you might be inspired by somebody else's scrapbook page and you wanna scrap lift it, um, you might be uh, inspired by a color um, color swatch, the actual colors in it. I try to tend to choose things that are a little bit off the beaten track and not so straightforward, like a sketch is intended to be a scrapbook page. But um, I try and look for other things just because I do use sketches quite frequently and I do scrap lift frequently. So I wanted to try something different. And so that's why I went with that, um, the actual spreading the paint onto the page. And then this hop is done the last Wednesday of the month. So you can find it again um, next month, uh, the last Wednesday of the month. And if you haven't seen this hop before, you can go back to Crystal's channel, which is Pineapple Papers. And she did a layout every day in July um, using this concept. And every day she had different people joining her. So you can go check that out as well. Um, I will make sure there's links to her page down below. And hopefully the other people that are participating, I'll get those links in there as well. So I'm now going through all of the ephemera for Head, Head in the Clouds. And... Um, I know it's got that beet red kind of pinkish red color in it, so I'm looking through to see what I can find for that. And I think I'm going to put up some stuff in this bottom right-hand corner. In the end, nothing stays in that corner. And I, I've moved my picture up and down a couple of times, thinking that I wanted to make room for something down there, and it was just too much. Um, <clears throat> the stuff, the ephemera and embellishments to the left of the photo and above the photo and then the upper left hand corner is where I'm going to leave it. Now there is a lenticular piece um, right under that card that says Wonder. It's green and if you put it one direction it is a dinosaur and then if you move it slightly it says here for the snacks and that is from Chamel's new uh, field trip collection. I thought that was just perfect for this layout because um, like I said, it's a food layout and he does love to eat. So, um, here for the snacks just worked out really well. So this is pretty much how the layout is going to look. I'm going to add some things, but I'm not adding anything in that bottom right hand corner. I decided against it. Um, and so I do like the way this came out a lot better. Now, had I been thinking about it when I cut the paper that has the three um, swipes of color on it, I would have taken more off of the right hand edge than the left hand edge because I would have preferred that my three swipes of color were lined up straight, but they're kind of on the diagonal now. Um, it looks okay at the, in the end of it, in the end of things, and I'm, I'm happy with it. Um, I'm, I'm not like so bothered by it that I would go back and do it all over. But had I thought about it, that's probably what I would have done. Um, I would have liked it just a tad bit better. 
So now I've popped these green little phrase things up onto some foam and I'm putting some foam tape behind the one that says yep and the one that says wonder and I do that frequently where I just pop the top of it up to give a little dimension so that it's not completely flat on the page but I do keep it flat underneath the photograph because I don't want the photograph popped up. And I'm trying to use up these buttons that I've had for ages. Uh, some of these are from, I think they're from Little by Little, and then some other ones are from Glitter Girl. And um, recently I learned that you could pop the epoxy out of the center of them without messing them up and use it that way. And I love that so much better because they are really thick buttons otherwise the wood pieces are like they're really dimensional and then some of them are actually even popped up on foam so um, I really prefer just to use the ephemera pieces so I've pulled some of those out I've scattered those around and then I'm going to use this exclusive sequin kit um, sequin pack from the secret not secret secret kit club and Spiegel mom scraps. Um, Jody over at Spiegel Mom has put this kit together or this little pack of sequins together and I believe this is the one from Head in the Clouds that I'm using and she does that for the Secret Not Secret Kit Club and so that's a, a kit club exclusive. Um, you can go check out her other sequin packs if you're interested in those. They are absolutely beautiful and she does a wonderful job. And then my Thickers there are from, the blue ones are from uh, Chamel's field trip, and then the green ones are from Pink Fresh Studio, and I'm using green, um, the word green, loosely. They're kind of a yellowy green, um, but they do match, so I decided to go ahead and use those. It, it, they're a little bit lighter than some of the other greens on the page, but they, they go well with that lenticular piece, and they kind of... Um, I don't know they worked they work out really well so my title is let us turn up the beat and I know it's kind of a funny title and I've seen shirts with that on it and stuff and I just thought it was really cute since he's eating beets and he loves food so um, I thought you know what I'm just gonna go with it and I really like it and then there's just a little bit of space for some journaling underneath where it says wonder or on that card or above that card um, my daughter will go through and do the journaling when she is over next time and that is pretty much gonna do it um, if you have any questions or comments you can leave those down below thanks so much for watching don't forget to go over and check out all of the other ladies that are participating and stick around for the close-ups they're coming up next thanks a lot see you next time